What's going on you guys, WhiteFox1225 here with another video, and today we're talking about Gwent, a multiplayer and single player card game that takes place in the Witcher universe. If you played the Witcher single player games, you're probably very familiar with Gwent. It was really popular among the community, and with the rise of card games recently, it just makes sense to make a Gwent standalone, and now we're finally getting one. The gameplay you're watching is from the closed beta, so keep in mind it's not a finished product yet. If you do want to get into the closed beta, I'll put a link in the description below where you can go do that. Keep in mind that the closed beta is only for the Xbox One and PC, not the PS4. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about the game, and also my thoughts on it so far, and how I'm liking it. The game is made by CD Projekt Red, the same people who made the single player Witcher games. I really like that because they could have easily had another developer make the game, and just profited off it, but instead they're making the game in-house. The game is single player and multiplayer, meaning for the first time you can play Gwent against other players, not just AI, which a lot of people, including myself, are really excited about. The game is also going to feature a full single player campaign, which is awesome because I love the lore of The Witcher, and I also love when card games have single player campaigns. I think The Elder Scrolls Legends did a really good job with that, so it's exciting to see that come to the game too. Right now in the beta, there's only casual game matches where you can just play against other opponents online, and you can also play practice matches against AI. Soon they're going to have a ranking system, and you can play ranked matches if you want to get a little bit more competitive. And then like I said before, they're also going to add a single player campaign. On top of that, they said they're looking to add some more game modes in the future. Not too sure what those game modes will be, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. In the multiplayer, I never had trouble finding a match. It took me maybe 10 seconds at most to find another opponent, and that's really good, especially for a closed beta. My connection was always good, and honestly, for a beta, the game feels really, really solid. It felt really polished, and if you added a few more game modes and a couple other features, I would have told you the game is finished. It feels really good, no bugs or anything like that. Let's move on and talk about the gameplay. The game is exactly like the single player games, so if you played Gwent in The Witcher 1, 2, or 3, you should do very well in this and you'll be really familiar with the game. The thing I like most about Gwent is it's not too complex, but there's still a lot of strategy involved. In case you're not familiar with Gwent, it isn't really like other card games. It's pretty different from games like Magic the Gathering, Hearthstone, or The Elder Scrolls Legends, which are all vaguely similar to each other. This one's a little different and has its own set of rules. The game is divided into three rounds, the first round you'll get 10 cards, in the second round you'll get two more, and in the final round you'll only get one extra. There are three rows you can place cards in, ranged, melee, and siege. You place one card per turn, and cards don't have any cost, so you can place any card at any time. Each card has a point value, and the goal is to have more points than your opponent at the end of the round. That's where the strategy comes in, because since the game is divided into three rounds, you have to save your cards and think long term. You could go all out and win the first match easily, but then you won't have any cards left for the second and third round. So the game takes a lot of planning, and even though it is easy to pick up, and it's easy to learn, there is a lot of strategy involved, and the gameplay has a lot of depth to it. As you would expect in a card game, it does feature deck building. There are five different types of decks, all with different perks and disadvantages and advantages to match your play style. The game will be free to play, and it will come with in-game purchases, which is pretty common for the genre. It's going to be released on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. The game will also have cross-play between Xbox One and PC, so your progress will be on both of those platforms. There's no given release date, they said they're going to release it when they feel like it's done, which is the same answer they gave for Cyberpunk 2077, and I'm fine with that because at least we know in the end we're going to be getting a good game. Overall guys, I had a blast playing this. I really love Gwent and The Witcher, so to be able to play with other people is really, really fun. Not only that, but this is probably my favorite card game on the market right now, so even if you've never played The Witcher, I definitely would recommend you check it out. Again, there's a link in the description to the beta if you want to try to get in. If you guys do, let me know in the comments below what you think. If you liked the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more Gwent and Witcher content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're also always covering games like MMOs and RPGs. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.